Galleon and Scooter Crash Dragons within three turns after they appear. Or, in other words, within a turtle total of five turns. Awfully conversational there, objective text. Okay, so important question. Do I have any of my AoEs? Spooner class. Spooner class. And Galleon class. So basically, it's kill all the dragons in three turns. But right now, you're coming to me. hit any of them from here. So I am going to do something kind of daring and not do anything this turn. We're in a really good percent defense position and they have to come to us. So let's see if that works. Do I have an option to snope? I have an option to do a quick save. Come to us. All right. That's good to hear. Let's see. Starting situation. Your AI's name is Friday. So apparently this is designed by Stark Industries. Infinity War reference. Starting situation remains unclear. Also, we have enemies approaching. Got a big blue and sort below below me and drag it as far as I can see in the sky up above. I have thought of any idea what the hell is going on, but one thing I know for sure is I'm not dying. I feel like it's some answers about this place. Oh, crap. I should have actually used a special attack there for walking cutscene. Their first attack. Success this time. All right, so you get your, you get your cutscene. Now, that was also our first combo attack. I think you can see that that's a new mechanic. An AS on Dragon Fight. Now I've seen everything! But I guess it's just part of the course for you duking out in some crazy imaginary world. Almost killed him with a crit. Uh, that's exactly what I want you to do. Something is coming this way. What? Oh, come on! Can't you guys just give it a rest already? I heard there were dragons, but I wasn't imagining this. Yeah, this is crazy. I think those paranoids are from the outside world. Never mind that. I wonder what brings these dragons all the way out here. What about that either? We have a mission to do. Hey, Salia, that worship over there is trying to contact us. What should we do? I need to answer them. I don't have anything to say to them. I'd rather not them, them not knowing that we are even here to begin with. Oh, why not? This is a great opportunity for us to make a ton of new friends, you know? I don't want to hear any complaints about out of you, and your temporary captain just follow my orders. Oh, all right. They're not answering our signal. They keep rejecting my attempts to contact them. At least they're targeting those dragons and not us. If the movements, I suspect that 
they might know about those creatures. I think you think you might be right. If that's the case, then we should team up with them and, so we can get out of here. I agree. Can you copy that, Commander Tesla Rosa? We're sure those other units are with, but we should leave their other enemies to find me. That works for me. I'll make sure we stay out of their way. Wow, so no one knows who these guys are. They're just one big mystery to everyone here, huh? I think we've been dragged into something serious here. It's here, definitely. I wish, wish we knew more about where we are. Do you need any help with complete strangers? Vivian, Ursha, let's get a move on already. Yes, ma'am. Got your back, Salia. Don't worry. If goes well, then I put me in charge of the whole platoon. Only one way to find out. Okay. All right. Actually. Boom! Ab microvessels. That will hit three of them. Which is what I want. Doesn't kill them, but softens them up real good. My game is moving forward. Let's, well, they're softened up here for all of them. Let's just use the Mighty Slicer. And the Draft Eagle Sword to the Mighty Slicer for ones a little less softened up. And we want to, yeah. We also actually want to kill this guy. You know, Maito, I never believe. Imagine we'd ever have to fight such outlandish enemies. I mean, we previously just fought these really, really stupid-looking um, super, uh, super generic super robot books. So this is this is a big change. Yeah, but we can't ignore them. If those creatures get anywhere near civilization, who knows what kind of havoc they might ca cause? They're bad news. We've got to stop them. Beat them right here, right now. The buck stops here with us, Gain. Hey, when you're fighting a dragon, it help by if you've got a sword. Might as well make like Siegfried. <laughs> Nice. Also, apparently dragons explode. Level up! Really good level up, too. Hit the with the GN cannon. That's way overkill. Okay. Alright, let's do position to attack one of these guys with. Both pretty softened up, so let's just use the Vulcan Cannon. Particularly si Oh, Hathaway's about equal level. Oh, Chris. You won't believe the mess I managed to get myself in this time. 
but I won't give up. I swore to keep on living after you died, and I intend to keep that promise. There's mostly like, pretty much anywhere. Crystal terrain. All right. So those so those only work on, on targets that are in water. Okay. These guys are pretty much all full power. Those guys are still softened up. You are like really low hit points. Let's hit some of these further off guys. Or they also can't hit me! Wherever we end up, we all have a d obligation, a duty to make it out alive. Now set our target for those giant creatures! Aye, Captain. Okay, your, your, your Bardicus is British. Aye, Captain. I barely remember once seeing an ocean like this. But it's more neither here nor there right now. I've got more important things on my plate as Captain Quath and Danon. You could, could be bothered to actually like draw a bridge set. Everyone else, their ships get a bridge set. No, not the Tuatha de Dan. And the thing is. Full Metal Panic has screwed the fan, fan base that they got a new series season this year. Oh, one hit KO! Like it. Actually, this is a really good position. I'm gonna stay here. Alright, that guy is not gonna be in range yet. Flying units and can fight over water, no problem. I swear, I've seen that submarine in Gundam with it somewhere before. Whatever. Right, I got bigger things to do for it worry about right now, starting with these dragons. I really don't want to be the next dinner. Is this an unofficial sequel to, or a sequel to another Super Robot Wars game that I haven't played yet? Oh, that's gonna let you like deal extra damage because they're like you know organic. Level up for Tobia. Punching up a bit too much here. What's this feeling I sense? Is it these dragons' wills? I'm gonna be sensing another new type nearby. One of the two. Level level up. guy.
数で攻められると厄介だ I feel like they should be going Scorch more than anything else. As a combo strike, okay. Bow's turn of the missile launcher. For you guys just sniping on. So I'm glad I've actually gotten the. Uh, uh, like, I, I didn't bring the um, double O, Team Double O sniper, but you know, this works. We've got Kurtz. Never really win one for hunting, really. But if I have to do it, I will. Things are a little weird now, but I'm still a sniper. SFA is an armation. Uruzu 6 is a Sonic position. This isn't some weird SFB movie where giant robots versus dragons fight More dragons or anything like that. Alright, actually move you a little bit this way to flank. Close that center. Anti-tank dagger. Okay. Sure, whatever. We're gonna target many times larger than we are. I'll aim it aim for whatever looks to be their weak points. Good news, they're fleshy and squishy. So the usual points apply. We're awfully calm right now, Sergeant. Well, it's ever since I started writing this thing, my life's been one long stretch of craziness. Dumb to get worked up about it after what I've seen. I think it's the first mature thing you've ever said. I can use more dad on one of your compliments right now, I'll I kind of need it if I'm going to survive. Now I'm able to do everything I can to protect you. That's a promise. Yeah. Lambda Driver is online! Lambda Driver is now online. I think I've finally gotten used to the sensation. The false extra pulsive field generator system on the AR, ARX7 obelisk by something easy. Able to convert mental energy to raw physical force. I'm giving this exposition for people who haven't played any of or watched any of the full metal panic anime and are wondering what the hell's going on. I won't lie, I used to really hate this thing, but now that I can use it well, maybe it's ultimately good. And the power means it's my job to use the Arbless Information done, no matter what. Indeed, it's my job, and my job is to help ensure that you do that. And I'll take, think whatever, only thing that's up for us to do is taking off. I'll do whatever needs to be done and come back in one piece. You can count on it. And that, that's basically your action. Um, and then there's you three. Just come up and flank. Bolt bullet, blade, dragon slayer. can do this. I'll show everyone what I'm made of. Especially got to prove my worth and st my strength. Especially for elect Electra once most of all. Dragon's under counterattack. And you missed. 
Bun Bun Maru. Okay. Well, as a fan of, of Slugger Freelance, cut clicks, sucker. Quiz time. Who are those other people fighting over there? The answer? I have no idea. That's why I'm joining the fray. Okay. You actually landed a hit on me. Ow, that hurt. Okay, uh... Yeah, that's everyone's actions. Um... Do I have a healing? Alright, Bangwood's gonna have to heal you back up all the way. So that'll so we'll have you should be able to fight then. If that hit you, it was actually really, really, like, you are way squishy, and that would have really killed you. Uh, directly attacking the Lithid Dandy. Can I actually evade? Nope. Not worth it. Just hold the tank then. Nope, and too close for me to actually counter attack, so tank! Pretty much ganging up on her. Some more damage, which picked me back to half health again. But I, could, but I should be able to finish you. to attack. Crazy at that cutscene. Don't like kill him outright. The level's up though. We need another healing. Let's go for guard right guard diver. Thank you. 
Then you're close up range. Let's just do the three as well. Oh. No. I'll do the assault rifle because that should still kill you in one shot. And I'm going to finish you in three rounds. Now you enters just enter the fray, which means I'm going to get to take these shots at you. Alright, so I can't get a good attack with this shot yet. Transam online. I don't want to know how hard that thing gets. I move in and use my special attack. Yes, I can. And you can't hit me. I'm using this. Man, oh man. Is something wrong, sis? This feels weird fighting, you know, living creatures as opposed to those undead, creepy, crawly creatures that we fought back in our, our universe. It's, it's complicated. If you can handle it, then close your eyes. I will pallet the thing right next to you out of this battlefield. Oh no, that's okay, Nine. I can fight. You don't have to worry. Are you sure? Do not push yourself push yourself too hard. I can't run away. I'm one of the Vagray's pilots. I'll do what needs to be done. No ifs, ands, or buts. Don't say you're borrowing another character's catchphrase, one who you'll be running into a little bit later. I understand. I should do my utmost to support you then. But you shall not pass! Softened up real good. Oh, it's all I finished this one off. Crimson Edge yet. Oh, it's a team up with uh, Hathaway, Cleveland, uh, 
attack with Hathaway as well. So let's take him down. Counterattacks. Love Clouseau's eyebrows. Yeah, that's you down. Zamba, and it's a guaranteed crit. And because I've leveled up freaking uh, Tobia's defense so much, crap. um, because I need to use. Level up Setsuna, too. Um. So, Transam attack as a crit. That should be enough to finish him. And just for a measure, I put intuition so you can't hit me because I'm squishy. Our point, yes. Whoa, that's a wrap. The good thing those outsiders were hard to help get this fight over with nice and quick. That may be, but I still need to thank them. We didn't need their help. Now let's leave. Let's leave. Talia, we have outsiders right here in front of us. Can't we chat with them for just a few minutes? Vivian, no. Okay, okay, I won't ask again. Jeez. Held at you three, there's something we want to ask you all. Sorry, but apparently we're not allowed to talk with anyone from the outside world. Vivian! What? Yes, I understand. As you wish. What's up, Salia? We have received new orders from the commander. Excuse me, is one of those ships the Nandisco? Yes, it would be mine. Good, we've been asked to bring you I've been asked to bring you all to Arsenal. Arsenal? Where our base is located. Now follow me. Uh, Captain, how do you want to proceed? Looks we'll at the invitation. We'll see what she has to show us. What about us, Subrugi? What should we do? Might as well tag along. She hasn't said that we're not allowed to go with her, too, at least. Captain. Well, I guess why we're interested, too. Celestial being happens to have a small amount of intelligence on this Area D we happen to be in. There's not so much to go off, and even then, only like a few in our organization that we can contribute to, but it's information nonetheless. Is that to say there could be more information here that not even your Vita could come upon easily? Yep, you've got it. I, I feel like we have a certain responsibility to go and check things out and verify. We all know personally because of that. That's understandable. Captain Tessarosa, I'd like to ask that you join us on our visit as well. 
so much to think about still. The magnetic storm, those creatures, and then that other spot. Captain? I agree. We need to gather more information now. Information more than anything else. I'll go too and do what they say for now. Understood, Captain. I can't get over how blue the sea is here. I didn't think we'd ever get to see it again. And 50 additional attack points because I brought um, the. Uh, Because I brought my gain around. And additional attack points and cash through my customizing points. There we go, here's the bridge of Authority Dynan. Let me get this straight. You're saying that we pulled into some alternate dimension of Earth. After looking over all the available information, it's the only reasonable conclusion I've found. You don't believe me? I do. I can't think of what else would have happened to us besides that. I'm willing to discuss the matter more later, but right now we're in the middle of an operation. I understand. Then for now, let me tell you thanks for protecting my crew earlier. I greatly appreciate it. No need to thank me, Captain. That was just my way of showing respect for you, priority our crew safety over your own. Being said, you don't mind me asking, is it typical from where you from from, from where you, is it typical where you're from for people as young as you to put in command of ships? No, not at all. I'm a big exception. What about this world? You're pretty young, too. I'm an exception to the rule as well. Ah, oh, that's really interesting that we're both like that. Captain, I should be off. Let's resume the same conversation at a later date once things have calmed down. What do you say? That works for me. Thank you for everything you've done for me and my crew, Captain. Don't mention it. I'll do excuse me. So we're stranded out in a whole other dimension, huh? I know truth can be straight to the fiction sometimes, but this is one truth that's pretty hard to swallow. I know what you mean, Captain. What's done is done. I've seen the sea here for myself now. I can't run away from the truth. Get rid of the truth now. We're repeating, we're using word repetition in weird ways now. Kalanin, tell everyone in, gather everyone in the hangar. We'll tell everyone what we know about our current situation right now. Yes, ma'am. Are you sure that's a good idea, Captain? I'd say it's better than anyone else running around and living in fear of the unknown, if nothing else. The real trouble is just how we're going to get home. Right. Then, could have happened at a worth time. If we don't get back soon, we might have a home to go back to. All right. Well, that's positively medieval. But because the dare ties into Gaul. Speaking of the undiscovered, the crew on enemies is fair share of ninja characters. Oh, you're pretty well informed about what's going on. Only well, because a nice chat with one of the men who works on the ship. Cutting guy, but still pretty trustworthy. Yeah. Other like you, that must have been an interesting chat. Maybe, but something like this is what it takes to keep our soul in fighting shape. And there's such a being. Those people seem really intriguing. Anyway, we've got a lot of business to take care of. We keep things busy. We keep things ready for the reception. You've got it. You've got it. The mission has ended, ma'am. Thank you, Inspector General. It always amazes me how it gives men to be people from afar rather than to lie on machines. Yes, but importantly, it might be frank. I'm surprised you have this any outsiders to come here. I'm well aware of breaking the rules. So it wouldn't be too bad to return it that do either. I just... Yes, I understand that, Commander, but still... The important thing is they accept the invitation. I ask that you accept my decision as your superior. Yes, Commander. Now on to more important business. Err. Norma number 120377. Angelis Ikiluga Misuru. As your name indicates, you're from the Misuru Empire and you're 16 years old. 16 years old indeed. Hmm. Right today, you are hereby inducted into Arsenal's ranks. You're a soldier fighting for us from now on. Arsenal, I've no idea what this is. Where are we? What's going on? What are you doing to me? Given your age, you're prepared to undergo a special prepared just for... What about my mother? Where is she? Is she alright? I have to see her right now. Please, let me see her. I need to confiscate your possessions now. Don't touch my ring with your filthy hands. Hmm. Other hand me this ring. It's a precious royal heirloom handed from generation to generation. Nothing a slowly bureaucrat like you should ever dare to touch. Understand? You're not royalty any longer. You're just a Norma. I'll handle this, Inspector General. Sometimes it takes a Norma to deal with another Norma. Hmm. I'm Jill, but you're the Arsenal. I apologize for your wrong treatment. But Norma, I swear, it's all some huge misunderstanding. 
and was their unrefined antisocial savages who found in nature and only live off of their own primal instincts. I am Prince of the Mystery of the Empire, and the acquaintance of the life is a... I'm giving a rest already. Ah! Forgive me, the leave personal. I must say that I'm impressed you made all the voices to the living fire nations, without being able to use mana. What? Did you ever strike me a little weird that you were all odd one out once? What are you talking about? I don't understand! Because we had made these men up for her. Makes sense. Such a shame, though. It's been years of hiding the truth, and look what they got. Now your mother is dead. There's nothing to show for it. Oh, my mother? She, she died? She's been now left with, been left with nothing in this world now. No power as princess, no respect, no dignity, nothing. It's all gone for good. Welcome to hell, kid. No! Now that you finally come, I'm glad to see you finally from your senses. Now that you're the general, could you help me? Why does it have to be me? Surely you'd rather get the dirty work done sooner rather than later. Of course, right? Fine, if I must. The light of mana! Huh? Yeah, thank you. Thank you for convenient censorship with the actual, like, caption bar. The body should be restrained now. Good. I feel like I should, like, in the edited version, like, slap on here 70s film grain. Because this is basically a, a cross angels and exploitation film in anime form. Like cross ang could be just shuts could be like stuck in, in an, as an installment of Grindhouse. It and fit in more or less seamlessly. Aside from the fact that they're giant robots. What did you just do to me? Giving you a physical examination. No big deal. And then we're going to blast you with the hose and do all this other sorts of really creepy exploitation things because we're that kind of show. No, stop! I said stop! I will to leak his brigand Miss Ricky, third princess of the Miss Ricky Empire. I'm me this instant. Are you deaf? You're not a princess anymore. You're just Angie. A plain old Norma. Got it? No, this can't be happening. This can't be real. Okay. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. I also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks, also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that.